most of the stream farmers do their first sampling between 30 to 40 days of culture. During this time, if you find poor growth, very high size variation, and certain percentage of shrimps with loose shell, you can consider this as a suspected case of EHP, enterocytosome hepatopeni, a fungal disease. There are two methods to confirm it. The first one is PCR. It is very sensitive, it is, uh, but it is costly and time consuming. The second method is wet mount microscopy. It is very easy to do it and you can do the test within five minutes. Uh, today in this video, I am going to demonstrate EHP detection with wet mount microscopy. Select the small shrimps from the suspected pond. Remove the carapace and expose the hepatopancreas. Take a small piece of hepatopancreas with the help of forceps. A small piece is enough. Place it on a glass slide. Add a drop of water. Place cover slip over it. Gently press it. Now your slide is ready. Observe the slide under either 40x or 100x oil immersion. But I am going to observe only under 40x and this is the video taken at 40x magnification and now you can see uh, EHP spores. EHP is an intracellular uh, pathogen especially it is intracytoplasmic you should be able to identify the cell, you should be able to identify the nucleus and the EHP will be between uh, in the cytoplasm, it, it won't be there in the a nucleus. So there are several spores here and this is a very severe case. You can see all the EHP spores spread. This is a very very severe case. If you find shrimps like this it is better to harvest. If you do real-time PCR it may be positive at uh, 14 CT. Very high number of spores. All the spores are uniform in shape. It's easy to identify. And you should be able to differentiate EHP infected cells and normal cells also. It's very easy.